Advanced Evolution Biotechnologies, or AB, began its business in 2000. Four years ago, founder and CEO Dr. Alan Murad and his partner, Dr. Hanan Itzaki, started research on a cure for cancer. We didn't want to, to have another drug like everyone else that would uh, give relief to some cancer patients and then the cancer would come back. We wanted really to cure something like uh, antibiotics. The concept is based on the same strategy used to combat AIDS. The patient is given a cocktail or mix of medications designed to prevent the disease from becoming resistant to any one drug. Because, you know, HIV is a very mutagenic uh, creature, same, same as cancer. This is the problem with cancer, that is very mutagenic and these mutations uh, help help the cancer escape the therapy. Here in this tiny lab in Nest Siona, Israel, these two scientists came up with a theory they hope will cure cancer. They call it mutato. That stands for multi-target toxin. The main thing here is multiple targeting. Instead of attacking one target at a time, we connect together several peptides and we attack several targets at a time. And because of that, the cancer won't be able, statistically, won't be able to escape the therapy. And this is what happened with AIDS. And this is what would happen here in cancer. And they point out since this cocktail specifically targets cancer cells, it is not as harmful to healthy ones. The other thing is because of this targeting peptides are connected together and there's a, what we call the avidity effect, the side effect would be much, much, much lower. So it would be like an antibiotic. Murad says if scientists could come up with 100 different peptides, they believe various combinations could treat each kind of cancer. Each patient would get his own mutator that would fit perfectly his cancer. He would have almost no side effects and in no time it would be cured completely because the, the cancer cells would be completely killed, every one of them. Murad says they have five peptides in the preclinical stage. When the article came out, it basically caught the medical community by surprise because AB's experiments have been limited and not published in medical journals. CBN News approached Dr. Charles Geyer, Associate Director for Clinical Research at VCU Massey Cancer Center, who was one of many that urged caution. He said, we all hope that a cure for cancer will be found, but cancer is a complex family of diseases, and there's a history of similar claims that have unfortunately spread false hope to many patients and their loved ones. This news is based on limited information from the company and its researchers, and the results from their preclinical experiments have not been published in any peer-reviewed academic journals. I would approach this news with healthy skepticism and also remind people that it typically takes years to translate promising preclinical research from the laboratory to evaluation in the clinic. Morad said he was surprised by the criticism. At least give me the credit, ask me what is the mechanism of our mutator, or read carefully the first uh, article in the Jerusalem Post to, to, to see what I really said. Morad said they need funding to move their research along faster and would like to collaborate with larger pharmaceutical companies. He also made clear the one goal on his mind. I don't care about the money. I want to cure cancer patients. Lori Johnson, CBN News.